Well, thank you all for coming out on this colder uh, November day, but glad the sun is shining at least some of the time. And I'm just delighted to be here as part of the Pathways to Stewardship and Kinship program. Not everybody knows, but it's a way to help parents and their care providers um, help connect their children to the great outdoors. And one of the ways that I think is a great way to do that is through sharing some songs and rhymes that are all nature-based. And they're all interactive. And because we've got quite a range of age here, some will be more maybe doable for the toddlers. And I've got some lovely bouncing rhymes and tickle rhymes for the babies. So let's get started. And all you have to do is just listen to what the words in this song are and do what they say. And it goes like this. Clap everybody and say hello. Clap everybody and say hello. Clap everybody and say hello, no matter what the weather. And I always think that's a good line. No matter what the weather, we can be outside, no matter what it is. If it's cold, if it's snowing, if it's raining, we can be outside and enjoying it. Exactly. So let's try that again. Clap everybody and say hello. Clap everybody and say hello. Clap everybody and say hello, no matter what the weather. What else could we do? Can you stamp your feet? Let's try that. Stamp your feet and say hello. Stamp your feet and say hello. Stamp your feet and say hello, no matter what the weather. Well, how about we're gonna stand up all of us can stand up, hold those babies nice and close, and just to warm ourselves up a bit, how about we twirl around? Can you twirl around? Either way, twirl around and say hello, twirl around and say hello, twirl around and say hello, no matter what the weather. What else could we do? Oh, this might warm us up. How about we jump up and down? Jump up and down and say hello. Jump up and down and say hello. Jump up and down and say hello, no matter what the weather. All right, let's just clap our hands again. Clap everybody and say hello. Clap everybody and say hello. Clap everybody and say hello, no matter what the weather. Good. All right. Well, I hope that's warmed us up a bit. And we can sit down again. And I like to start with a lovely rhyme that really connects us to this great, wonderful, natural world of us. And I'll do it first, and then I'll teach it to you. It's very simple. It goes like this. Here is the earth. Here is the sky, here are my friends, and here am I. So, I'll do a line and then you can read after me. Here is the earth, here is the sky, here are my friends, and here am I. Let's do it all together. Here is the earth, here is the sky, here are my friends, and here am I. The lovely thing about being outdoors, especially with your children, is that you can start noticing things with them. Certainly right now, I've been noticing leaves, a lot of leaves. And I have big trees in my backyard, and a lot of the leaves are still in the tree as they, as they are here. Um, but this is a lovely little rhyme about the leaves. And we're going to turn ourselves into trees, and we have our strong trunks. Do you feel strong today? Nice and strong. And then our trees go down and our roots are under the ground, right? Can't see them, but you can feel them, right? Oh, feeling nice and steady with those roots holding us, making us strong. And look at this, I can grow a branch. Can you put an arm out? There's a branch and at the end of my branch, 
there's a leaf. Can you make your leaf blow in the wind? Oh, look, I can stretch in another arm, another branch. And there's a leaf on the end of that one. We're going to start with this branch out. Now, maybe someone here, can you see a color of a leaf right now? Do you see any colors of leaves? I see. What color is this? Do you know what color? Yellow. All right. So here we go. See the yellow leaf tumbling down, catches in the wind, and boom, falls to the ground. That was a pretty heavy leaf. Made a big noise. Let's get out our other branch and our other leaf. Oh, and over there I see some red leaves. See the red leaf tumbling down, catches in the wind, and boom falls to the ground. Now, this is a bit crazy, but look, I've got another branch. Can you stick your foot out like that? There we go. See the red leaf tumbling down, catches in the wind and falls to the ground. Crazy, there's my other branch. See the brown leaf tumbling down, catches in the wind and boom, falls to the ground. All right, let's rake up all those leaves. Can you rake them all up into a nice big pile? See the leaves all piled on the ground catch in the wind. Are you ready for this? And scatters to the ground. Boom. Oh, let's do that one again. Let's gather all those leaves up into a nice big pile, ready for jumping in. See those leaves all piled on the ground. They catch in the wind and oh, scatter to the ground. Boom. So fun. Great. Well, one of the things about being outdoors, of course, is noticing all the animals and the birds and the insects we see. And at this time of year, this is a lovely little rhyme that you can use with all kinds of birds and animals. And it goes like this, and I'll show you first, um, and then we'll learn it together. So it starts with a little nest, and of course, Hats are a little nest and hares are a little nest. And it goes like this. Here is a nest for a bluebird. Here is a hive for a bee, just a little tickle on the tummy. Here is a hole for a bunny, it's a little tickle under the arm. And here is a home for me. And it ends in a lovely hug. So I'll do it line by line, but again, I use bluebird, but we could think about what other birds do we see at this time of year? Anybody seen? The adults can offer some geese. I've got a rhyme coming up with geese, but let's use geese. Here's a nest for the geese. And here's a hive for the bees. Here's a hole for a bunny. And here is a home for me. So I'll do it line by line, just so you can learn it and take it home with you. So here's a nest for a chickadee. Here is a hive for a bee. Here is a hive for a bee. Here is a hole for a bunny. And here is a home for me. All right, let's do it all together. Somebody else give me a different kind of bird. Blackbird. Here is a nest for a blackbird. Here is a hive for a bee. Here is a hole for a bunny. And here is a home for me. And the lovely thing about a lot of these rhymes is they grow with your child. So let's turn it into more of a little finger story. So let's make a nest with our hands. And somebody else have another kind of bird? They have seen, noticed, a cardinal. Here is a nest for a cardinal. 
and we can make a little cardinal sound. Do you know what the cardinals make? <laughs> That's it. Good. <laughs> Let's do that again. Here's an S for a cardinal. <laughs> Here is a hive for a bee. <laughs> Here is a hole for a bunny, and you just make a little hole for your bunny, and you've got your bunny ears. Make that bunny hop into the hole. And you can also think about what other animals live in holes. So that's a good conversation to have. And finally, it ends the same way. And here is a home for me. Lovely. I love how it ends in a hug. That's such a nice home and comfort for children. So Nancy mentioned geese. And that's one of the things that I've noticed is I'll hear this sound and I look up in the sky and there will be Canada geese honking away, all in that nice shape of a V, heading south where it's warmer. We, meanwhile, have to stay here <laughs> where it's cold, but they get to go south. And this is a lovely bouncing rhyme. And if your child would face you, that's the best way so you can see what they, um, how much they're enjoying it. If they won't, and they'd rather look at all the other beautiful faces out here, that's fine too. But you can stretch out, and it's just a bounce, and I'll do it first, and then we'll learn it together. And it goes like this. Wire, briar, limber, lock, three geese in a flock. One flew east, and you tip your child over to the left. One flew west, tip your child to the right and one flew over the cuckoo's nest. So you get to fly those little babies up. And if your baby feels too heavy, or you've got more than one, <laughs> you can just lift your knees. You don't have to lift them up. And uh, so it's, they're silly words at the beginning, but they do all rhyme. So it goes like this. Wire, briar, limber, lock, wire. I'll do that again. Wire, briar, limber lock. Three geese in a flock. One flew east. Tip them over. One flew west. And one flew over the cuckoo's nest. One flew over the cuckoo's nest. Let's try it just one more time, maybe a little faster. Wire, briar, limber, lock, three geese in a flock. One flew east and one flew west and one flew over the cuckoo's nest. And of course, if, as your child grows and you, they want to do it with you, at the end there you can just swing them all the way around, which is very fun. Okay, I think, hmm. I think we'll stand up. Let's stand up and move. One of the animals that I've been noticing a lot are squirrels. So how about we, can we find our bushy tails? Just wiggle back and forth with our bushy tails. There we go. And you know, one of the things that I see squirrels doing, and this is a bit of a story about a squirrel. And the first thing they do is they hop. And maybe you can just hop up and down. And it goes like this. Hop, old squirrel, idle dum, idle dum. Hop, old squirrel, idle dum day. Hop, old squirrel, idle dum, idle dum. Hop, old squirrel, idle dum day. Good hopping. That's right. You kind of see them bounce, don't you? I also see them running a lot. Shall we try and run on the spot? Run, old squirrel. Idle dum, idle dum, run old squirrel, idle dum day, run old squirrel, idle dum, idle dum, run old squirrel, idle dum day. And did you know there are flying squirrels? I've actually seen a flying squirrel. Let's get out and pretend we're flying. Fly old squirrel, idle dum, idle dum, fly old squirrel, idle dum day. Fly old squirrel, idle dum, idle dum, fly old squirrel, idle dum day. Well, I don't know if you've ever noticed that if you're walking a dog and they see a squirrel, they want to chase that squirrel. 
why don't we try and the squirrel's gonna just run let's run run old squirrel idle dumb idle dumb run old squirrel idle dumb day run old squirrel idle dumb idle dumb run old squirrel idle dumb day wow good thing we've almost made it to the tree we're gonna, gonna climb that tree climb that tree idle dumb idle dumb climb that tree to the top idle dumb day climb that tree idle dumb idle dumb climb that tree idle dumb day and then the squirrel's at the very top of the tree looking down at that dog and it's going to chatter at it it's kind of angry that that dog chased the squirrel can you chatter idle dumb idle dumb idle dumb day idle dumb idle dumb idle dumb day now this is a nice way to end even though we probably wouldn't be hugging the squirrel let's all hug our little squirrels hug that squirrel idle dumb idle dumb hug that squirrel idle dumb day hug that squirrel idle dumb idle dumb hug that squirrel idle dumb day oh good i hope that warmed us up a bit you know let's sit down and another way we can warm ourselves up and share something together is to have a little cup of tea let's warm ourselves up maybe you've done this around here have you you haven't done it here so we can make a cup of tea with our hands we stick out our hands, tuck our thumbs in, and curl our fingers around our thumbs. And we've made two cups. And it goes like this. Here's a cup, and here's a cup, and here's a pot of tea. Stick your thumb up. We'll pour a cup, and pour a cup, and drink it up with me. Here we go. Oh, delicious. Let's do it again. Fingers out, thumbs down, curl them around. Here's a cup, and here's a cup, and here's a pot of tea. We'll pour a cup, and pour a cup, and drink it up with me. Now tea is delicious, but I think a little hot chocolate might even warm us even more. Let's make some hot chocolate together, okay? Hands out, thumbs in, make your cups. Here's a cup, and here's a cup, and here's a pot of hot chocolate. We'll pour a cup, and pour a cup, and put it in our pocket. Oh, no! Our hot chocolate in our pocket? Oh, oh, my, it's all gooey and chocolatey. Let's pull it up. Drink it up. Here we go. Oh, delicious. That was so good. Nice and warming. I'm noticing lots of things at this time of year, and I've noticed that some animals and insects, insects that live outdoors are coming indoors. They might be some mice. They might be some flies. I've noticed some flies in my house inside, and they're not buzzing around really fast. They're moving really slowly. And this is a lovely tickle about a fly. And it starts at the feet of your child and you're going to I'll do it first and then I'll teach it to you and we can do it together it goes crawly 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 up the wally 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 watch out little fly don't you folly 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 and it's a big tickle all the way down to the toes so the words are have crawly wally and folly so join in with me crawly 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 up the wally 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 watch out little fly don't you folly 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 it's a great anticipation rhyme you make it up there and they're going oh no when's the, when's the fly gonna fall let's try it one more time crawly 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 up the wally 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 watch out little mouse a little fly don't you folly 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 
I'm afraid I do have mice sometimes in my house, so I was thinking about those little mice. All right. Um, you know, sometimes when um, you become a parent and you realize, oh my gosh, I've got to know how to sing. I've got to know how to do all these things. And people aren't always comfortable with their singing voices. And I just want to remind you, encourage you, that your child loves your voice the best of all no matter how it sounds. They're just happy that you're singing to them. And so when sometimes there's a hesitation, I always encourage parents to think of songs that they might already know. So if I was to say, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. So you know that song. How many of you know that song? Yes, you know that song. So what I did with a song like that is I took that melody, which is something that's familiar, and decided to put names of animals or insects or things that I see around outdoors when I'm with my child. So, and I'll put an action and a sound to it. So this is something that you could do. So if you're out walking and so, for example, we just sang about a squirrel and there are lots of squirrels around. We can do if you're a squirrel and you know it, shake your tail. If you're a squirrel and you know it, shake your tail. If you're a squirrel and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're a squirrel and you know it, shake your tail. So now I'll turn it over to you. What other animal, insect, might you see when you're outdoors walking? A frog. A frog. If you're a frog. Now, what would we do with a frog? Hop. hop. If you're a frog and you know it, give a hop. If you're a frog and you know it, give a hop. If you're a frog and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're a frog and you know it, give a hop. Good hopping. All right, what's another little animal or insect we might see at this time of year? You know what I saw the other day? A big fat raccoon. Oh, so what could we do with a raccoon? <laughs> Eat your garbage. <laughs> or you could put on a mask. You could put on a mask. Let's do, that's a little more um, positive. If you're a raccoon and you know it, put on your mask. If you're a raccoon and you know it, put on your mask. If you're a raccoon and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're a raccoon and you know it, put on your mask. Good, maybe one more. What else? Ah? If you're a bird and you know it, build a nest. If you're a bird and you know it, build a nest. If you're a bird and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're a bird and you know it, build a nest. Actually, I just thought of one more because I saw something that I really didn't wish I hadn't seen, which was a skunk. And so, what do you think we could do with a skunk? I know they like to lift their tails and let out an aroma as protection, of course. Um, but it's quite a smell, isn't it? So maybe we could lift our tails and, oh, P.U. It's a nice sound, anyway. <laughs> if you're a skunk and you know it, lift your tail. P.U. If you're a skunk and you know it, lift your tail. P.U. If you're a skunk and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're a skunk and you know it, lift your tail. P.U. But now I don't want to end on a skunk. Maybe we better have one more. And to go to sleep. If you're a bear and you know it, go to sleep. If you're a bear and you know it, go to sleep. If you're a bear and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're a bear and you know it, go to sleep. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, the bears are going to be hibernating now. Well, at this time of year, this is, uh, I often think about going to the market and seeing all the bins of apples and apple cider. And you may know this song as peanut butter and jelly, but we're going to turn it into applesauce and cider. So it goes like this. Apple, applesauce, cider. Apple, applesauce, 
cider. First you pick the apples and you pick them. You pick them. You pick them, pick them, pick them. Then you take the apples and you wash them. You wash them. You wash them, wash them, wash them. Apple, applesauce, cider. Apple, applesauce, cider. Then you take the apples and you peel them. You peel them. You peel them, peel them, peel them. Then you take the apples, this is a new one, you core them, you core them, you core them, core them, core them. Apple, applesauce, cider. Apple, applesauce, cider. Then you take the apples and you chop them, you chop them, you chop them, chop them, chop them. Then you take the apples and you stir them, you cook them, you cook them, cook them, cook them. Apple, applesauce, cider. Apple, applesauce, cider. Then you take the apples and you mash them, you mash them, you mash them, mash them, mash them. Then you take the apples and you spice them. You spice them. What do you put in? Cinnamon? Spice them, spice them, spice them. Apple, applesauce, cider. Apple, applesauce, cider. Then you take the apples and you eat it. You eat it. You eat it, eat it, eat it. Then you take the sauce and you share it. You share it. You share it, share it, share it. Apple, applesauce, cider. Apple, applesauce, cider. Apple, applesauce, cider. Let's drink it up. So delicious. Yum, 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 yum. Well, I think people are getting a little restless. So let's just do a couple more bounces. This way we'll warm ourselves up. And the nice thing again about this time of year is going to the markets and seeing all the wonderful vegetables that are growing at this time of year. And we're going to go to market. And maybe you know this rhyme. It's an old rhyme, but it's a great bouncing rhyme. And I'll do it first and join in if you know it. To market, to market, to buy a fat pig. Home again, home again, jig a dee jig So you can make your knees go different times to do the jiggity jog. Let's try that. To market, to market, to buy a fat pig. Home again, home again, jiggity jig. Now we're going to buy a hog, which is even a bigger pig. To market, to market, to buy a fat hog. Home again, home again, jiggity jog. And here's another little verse to add to it. We're going to go to buy a gown. A lovely gown. To market, to market, to buy a fine gown. Home again, home again, the horse fell down. And you can drop the little, the baby into the middle. So let's try that last one again. To market, to market, to buy a fine gown. Home again, home again, oops, the horse fell down. Oh, I do have one more that I would love to teach you. And this is another one about animals. And these are animals that you might see on the farm. Now, with pathways, um, for the zero to three age group, there's three different landmarks, three different things that you can do with your child that is going to help you and them connect to nature. And one of them is just noticing animals. And if you go to a farm or you're driving by and you see animals, um, on a farm, you'll notice that there's gates. So we've got to make a gate. So we're going to make a gate like this. Can you make a gate? Put your hands in front, open them wide, and shut the gate. And open them wide, and shut the gate. So let's go to the farm. The gates swing open, and the ducks run free. They climb up branches of the apple tree. They fall asleep from the apples they ate. Oh, let's carry them home. Can you carry all those ducks? And you're ready to shut the gate. Got the gate shut, good, here we go. The gates swing open and the goats run free. They climb the branches of the apple tree. They fall asleep 
from the apples they ate. <gasps> Let's carry them home. Can you carry them home? And shut the gate. Is there another animal we might see on the farm? How about the cows? <gasps> the gates swing open and the cows run free. They climb the branches of the apple tree. They fall asleep from the apples they ate. Let's carry them home. Oh my goodness. Whoa, so heavy. And shut the gate. Absolutely. Fun rhyme. All right, so let's just do how we began. We'll sing, but this time we'll say goodbye. Clap everybody and say goodbye. Clap everybody and say goodbye. Clap everybody and say goodbye. No matter what the weather. How about this? Blow a kiss. Mwah! And say goodbye. Blow a kiss. Mwah! And say goodbye. Blow a kiss. Mwah! and say goodbye no matter what the weather how about give a hug give a hug and say goodbye give a hug and say goodbye give a hug and say goodbye no matter what the weather and one more time to clap just to warm our hands clap everybody and say goodbye everybody and say goodbye clap everybody and say goodbye no matter what the weather yay round of applause for all of you thanks for coming uh, yeah <laughs>